Hello everyone and welcome to Simplex Cuisine. My name is Harper, if you did not know, and today I am going to show you the framework of making my version of an amazing and perfect breakfast burrito. So, let's begin. So of course the ingredients and the written route recipe will be down below, so if you want to see that, just check it out there. I also want to say that the ingredients I have, you know, in this recipe, they can be easily customized to your taste. You can put different things, you can substitute, you know, bacon for sausage or vegetables, you can put uh, other things involved, you can have different kind of cheeses. This is just a framework for a meal that can be customized for your liking. So the first thing is first is to cook your meat, or in my case, bacon. And I just begin by heating up the pan to a medium to low heat. Now after the pan is pretty hot, you know, not like you say uh, steaming, but pretty hot enough, put in your bacon strips. Now I just cut it up into smaller pieces so they could easily cook all together. But while your bacon is cooking, and really just cook your bacon or your meats to your liking. It doesn't really matter at this point. When that is going on, when that's cooking, you know, keep it on low heat and just let it just go by itself. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to babysit it more or less. Unless it's getting burnt and then babysit it. But while that is happening, skin and wash your potatoes. Now I use small potatoes because I feel like a small potato hash brown is a really great ratio for one burrito. It doesn't to overcarb the burrito, but it doesn't also, you know, undercarb it at all. So I feel like a small potato is your best option. But after the potato is washed and skin, at least in my case, you can just, you know, wash if you want, but I like skinning my potatoes usually. Cut your potato in thin medallions, and then when the bacon is done cooking, take out your bacon and put it onto a paper towel so the uh, grease can drain off the bacon, and also it really has a great way to just hold the bacon, you know, it's a great a uh, substitute for a platter. And then after that is done, take the grease and pour it into a bowl and then heat up your pan to more of a medium heat and then put in your potato medallions with some of that baking grease or just olive oil, really just, you know, it's up to you, of course. And then cook these medallions for around two minutes. Now after the two minutes are done or your medallions are a nice golden brown, flip them over and then cook them for another two minutes. Now of course season with salt and pepper, you can of course use other seasoning, but I feel like salt and peppers are really great, you could say breakfast seasoning, after it's been four minutes more or less. Flip them over one more time and then start cutting medallions in half and quarters, and this just helps the potatoes get really, really crispy and completely cooked. And then it's up to you if you wanna have them really, really crispy, if you wanna have them mildly crispy, but when your hash browns are crispy to your liking, take them out and put them on a platter or a plate or whatever you wanna put them on, and then scramble your eggs, which is pretty easy. Just you know, crack the egg open, just scramble it up with a, you know, spoon or a fork, season with salt and pepper, and there's your scrambled eggs. It's very, very simple. Now after that, or while you are cooking your hash browns, you can also prepare the rest of your toppings. I just diced some tomatoes, I cut up the green onions, and that's really all. If you want to have different ingredients or different toppings, of course, it's up to you. It's just, you know, as before, this is a very, very customizable recipe. But when all your toppings are ready to go, of course, take out your big tortilla. And I would actually get a pretty good, like a pretty big tortilla, like 13 inch, 14 inch because you know at least for me I'm not really good at making like wrapping a burrito up so I like having a lot of room to really you could say perfect my craft aka a safety net a big safety net but from there put on your toppings it doesn't really matter what order you put the toppings on but for me at least I just put hash browns and then I think eggs and then cheese, bacon, and then the rest of the toppings. I don't really remember exactly, but as before, the order doesn't really matter at this point. And just like, you know, really season up your burrito because of course a burrito is very carb loaded and you need as much seasoning as possible because it's a burrito, you just need a lot of seasoning. But from there, just, you know, wrap up your burrito in a burrito shape. I'm not sure that really means, I just realized it kind of sounds a little bit weird, but more or less, wrap your burrito. And then as a bonus thing, which I would completely recommend, take your skillet, put a little bit more of that grease or oil, whatever, and then toast your burrito and this gives the added fact of not only melting or more or less melting your cheese but it also, and this is really important, keeps the burrito together because if you, um, you know, toast your burrito on seam side down, the cooking process more or less seals that seam so your burrito will not fall apart when you pick it up 
hopefully. But after that, just cut it in a binging with Bad Bitch kind of style, show off that amazing cross section, which I'm actually very proud of. And then that is your breakfast burrito. Of course, it's just a framework, so just do what you want, you know, make whatever amazing toppings or ingredients that you want for breakfast burrito. But at the end of the day, it is an amazing breakfast or you can say brunch idea. It's very simple. It's kind of, you could say, non-traditional because, you know, you are mixing breakfast with like a Americanized Mexican dish, so it's very, very non-traditional, but it is an amazing idea to, you know, have at least once per month. But with that, that is the end of the video, so of course, if you like this video, just click that like. If you want to see more, just subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you next time, and as usual, goodbye.